China has just demonstrated something nuclear scientists have been trying to achieve for more than 50 years. In November 2025, China's experimental thorium molten salt reactor, known as TMSR-LF1, successfully achieved the first real conversion of thorium into usable nuclear fuel inside an operating reactor. The reactor is located in Wuwei, Gansu province, and is operated by the Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It produces 2 megawatts of thermal power and reached sustained nuclear criticality in October 2023. Thorium itself cannot undergo nuclear fission. Instead, thorium-232 is what physicists call a fertile material. When it absorbs a neutron, it slowly transforms through radioactive decay into uranium-233, a fissile isotope capable of sustaining a nuclear chain reaction. This process is called breeding, and it is the core idea behind thorium reactors. In October 2024, thorium was added to the molten salt reactor. On the 1st of November 2025, scientists confirmed the first successful thorium-uranium fuel conversion during operation. This produced experimental data that had never before been obtained from a molten salt reactor. Unlike conventional nuclear plants that rely on solid fuel rods and high-pressure water cooling, this reactor uses liquid nuclear fuel. Uranium and thorium are dissolved directly into molten fluoride salts, which act as both the fuel and the coolant. These salts circulate at high temperature but near atmospheric pressure, eliminating the risk of pressure-driven accidents. A surrounding blanket of lithium and beryllium fluoride helps control neutron flow while reducing unwanted nuclear reactions. As uranium atoms undergo fission, released neutrons strike thorium atoms, gradually converting thorium into uranium-233 while the reactor continues running. Molten salt reactors are safer not because of extra systems, but because of basic physics. First, they operate at low pressure, meaning there is no steam explosion risk and no hydrogen buildup like in Fukushima-type accidents. Second, the fuel cannot melt down because it is already molten. Third, molten salt reactors use passive safety. If power is lost, a frozen salt plug melts automatically, allowing the fuel to drain by gravity into safe storage tanks where nuclear reactions stop on their own. No operators, no electronics, no external power. Fourth, as the fuel heats up, it expands, slowing nuclear reactions. This negative temperature feedback stabilizes the reactor automatically. Thorium fuel cycles produce less long-lived radioactive waste, generate far less plutonium, and are extremely difficult to weaponize. The reactor uses uranium enriched to less than 20% uranium-235, remaining below weapons-grade thresholds. China now plans to scale this technology to a 100-megawatt thorium molten salt reactor with a demonstration target around the year 2035. Thorium power was once theoretical. Now, for the first time, it is operating.